Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to export more than 2500 results from a LinkedIn sales navigator search and this technique will also work if you want to export more than 1000 accounts from sales navigator. So first I will show you how to use what I call splitting filters to split your search results. Then we will store these URLs into a Google Sheet. We will use the Evaboot Chrome extension to export the leads contained in each of these chunks and then I will quickly show you how to apply exactly the same technique but for account searches. So here I am looking for head of sales in these company sizes in the US and I have uh, more than 6,000 results. What I will use to split my search into several chunks that are less than one uh, 2,500 results each is uh, the function and the seniority filter. These are what I call splitting filters because you shouldn't use them to make your sales navigator searches because they give super irrelevant results. I won't detail why here, but if you want to know more about why you shouldn't use function and seniority filter, you can check the complete LinkedIn sales navigator tutorial. The link will appear on the top right of this video. So here you should only use the function filter here and the seniority filter here to split your choices, not to look for leads. So we are going to open here the function filter and we are going to click on random categories here. And we are going to see the number of results that appear here. And we are going to accumulate results until we reach like 2000 leads. I got a bit more than that. So I will fill here my search with more leads. And here I got uh, 1.5k results. So this is a good first chunk uh, of export. So here I'm going to take that URL and paste it into the first line of my Google Sheet. Then I'm going to come back to Sales Navigator and select other categories. So you can do a lot of clicks here. Basically select all of that. So here I see that I have more than uh, 3000 results. So it's too much. Here I have head of sales. So for sure there are tons of people in the category sales. So I will delete sales here. And you can see that I only have 200 results. So I will add that add chunk in my Google Sheet and exclude all these other functions and then select sales. And I see that now I have these results and I can't split with the function filters anymore. So I need to switch to the seniority level filter. Here, I'm going to select entry level, for example. And let's see how many leads I got in this category. More than 2K results. So this is perfect. I'm going to copy here that URL and paste it here. And basically, if I exclude here entry level i should have the rest of the search more than 1k here perfect so here basically in four urls using function and the seniority level filter using exclusion and inclusion i've managed to transform a search with more than 6,000 leads in it into four several chunks that i will be able to export with a tool like the Evaboot Chrome extension. So here, let's take a small chunk. We extract it from the search and I'm going to show you how to export your leads into a CSV file using the Evaboot Chrome extension. To download the Evaboot Chrome extension, you can click on the first link in the description and follow the onboarding process. And at the end of the onboarding process, you will see this button here, export with Evaboot. Now, if you want to export your leads, oh, this one has more than 2k leads in it. I want to ex export that one. It will be faster for this tutorial. Here, I only have a bunch of leads. So I click here on export with Evaboot. Evaboot will quickly, quickly analyze the search and open the Evaboot app. On this app, you will uh, select if you want to export the, the leads with or without the emails. In that case, we are going to export the leads with emails. If you want to know uh, what data is contained in our file, you can check the list here. And on that list here, you will have all the data points. Basically, we export 
all the data from the search, all the data from LinkedIn profiles, from the company page also, and we find and verify the emails if you select that option. So here, let's launch that search. And then when the search is ready, you will receive a notification by email. With that email, you're going to be able to come back uh, to the Everboot dashboard and then download your file at the CSV. When your export is launched, you will see an estimated end date just right here. Here you have a demo export. Uh, you can have a preview uh, of that. So right now we'll show you the data we get from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. We got first name, last name, email, email validation, position, company name, company website, domain, location, LinkedIn URL, company industry. Basically a ton of information uh, you can use for your prospecting or you can use to upload uh, in your CRM to know your customer better. The specificity of Eveboot is that we first are going to clean the names and the last names and the company names. No emojis, no capital letters. All the names and company names are clean by our algorithm because sometimes you get like emojis, capital letters in the names and you can't upload this data like that into your outreach tool or your CRM. So you have to either uh, clean it manually or use uh, an algorithm like us to do that. Second thing is that we are going to check if the leads in your search really match your filters. For example, here I've written head of sales, but sometimes in sales navigator, you will see that you write head of sales and you will end up with uh, head of marketing in the search results. So Everboot will mark these leads as a no match and will tell you why the algorithm has rejected the lead. So you get a concrete example of the filtering algorithm. I've uh, downloaded the demo file and here you have a colon match filters and a colon no match reasons. So here, for example, you will see in this colon, I was looking for head of sales. So here I have a yes every time I got head of sales. But let's scroll down here. And for example, here in this line, I get climate best fellow and here I have global business development. So no head of sales here. And I have written here, wrong title. So every time one of your search filters is not uh, really applied by LinkedIn on the precise search results, we will notify you and mark the lead as a no match here. And if you want to know uh, why Sales Navigator make these mistakes, again, you can check the complete Sales Navigator uh, tutorial I've made. The link will appear in the top right of this video. If you want to export accounts uh, from LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you will face a limitation too if you have more than 1,000 results because on LinkedIn account searches, you get 40 pages of 25 results. So you can see more than 1,000 results in your pages. And for that, uh, to split our searches, we are going to use different filters. The best way to split an account search using filters is to use either company headcount growth, company headcount, or department headcount growth, depending on which filter you already used on your search. So if you already use company headcount growth, you're going to use the other two here. If you already use department headcount, you can use uh, headcount growth here. So basically here we are going to use company headcount and we are going to uh, use that technique to uh, split our uh, search into several chunks. So let's say, for example, you, we want to first select all uh, the negative account growth. Here we have more than 1000. So this is too much. Maybe we want to have between less than 100 and less 20. So here we have 300 results. We can save that um, as a first chunk. We rewrite from here minus 19 to zero. And this is a bit too much. So we are going to write 19 to, let's say, minus 10, this time 400. So that's less than 1,000. So we could do that. And then minus 9. So don't write minus 10 again, because you will have companies you already extracted from uh, the previous chunk. So here, minus uh, 9, it's a bit too much. Let's write minus nine, two, minus three, let's say. So 600, perfect. We have another chunk and then minus two to zero. And you repeat that. And then we're going to move to the uh, positives once. So here we got minus two, zero. And then we're going to move to, let's say one, two, 100. 
let's see how many companies we got here okay so we need to split that into like three chunks one to seven and basically you do exactly the same process but with uh positive numbers so one to seven we get less than one thousand here then we're gonna write so eight to something basically i've repeated the operation a lot of times now you get the idea and once you get to the last chunk which would be for example 90 to 100 you will have all your accounts into uh, your several chunks. Same thing, if you want to export these accounts uh, to a CSV file from Sales Navigator, you can use the Evoboot Chrome extension. Just click on export with Evoboot here and follow the exact, exact same process uh, I showed you before. It will work exactly the same way. And that's how you export more than 2,500 results from your LinkedIn Sales Navigator searches. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about how to generate leads on LinkedIn, you can check the complete tutorial that will appear just right here. I wish you a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.